So guys, we also have a little experiment to show you guys. And um, we're basically gonna leave the pool out here all winter and see what happens to it by next summer or next spring. And it already has a bunch of leaves and it's already like green and dirty and there's like, ugh, yuck. And then as you can see over there back there, it's kind of deflated. So it's kind of already beat up. But we're gonna see what happens when we leave it out all winter. It's either gonna collapse because it's already collapsing on that side or it'll just turn into ice and super hard. It is November 10th. It's 32 degrees outside and the pool is it's frozen. It's ice. <laughs> Frozen at the bottom. Let's touch here, so it's about uh, four inches. That's frozen. Uh, that's what it looks like. Prince. Hey guys, so it is January 17, 2019 and this is what our swimming pool is looking like and it's been about maybe six months since we put this up and I think, hold up, okay so the bottom is a little liquidy but it's frozen all the way up to here, like the top and everything is frozen as you can see right here. Like literally, it's like so hard. And there's also a bunch of snow on it. This side, look at this. Like this is like the water thing. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize that. Look at the icicles. Oh my gosh. until where I can't put it to make it look like I was walking on it. It is 
minus 26 degrees out here today, January 30th. And with the wind chill, it's minus 60. <sighs> That's what a swimming pool looks like. This temperature. I've only been here for less than five minutes and I can't feel my fingers, so I need to get in. It is March 7th, and there's the pool. Solid ice. And it actually held up, even some of that air. So let's see how it is. And we'll fill it up with uh, more water when it warms up. Let's see, because we might be able to just still use it this year. That's how it's looking. <laughs> 